logs on tanks. There are many different reasons people come up with as to why logs are so frequently found on World War II era tanks. Protection, camouflage, anti-magnetic properties, etc. The reality is most of these reasons have some truth, but the principal reason is traction. Logs are most commonly found on tanks on the Eastern Front, where tanks were driven down dirt roads and fought on open plains. These roads turned into mud as Russian snow melted in the spring. Spring mud in many ways was as disabling to an army in the East as the winter was. Even though tanks have tracks designed specifically for excellent traction, these tracks also hold up an enormous amount of weight, so tanks were still susceptible to bogging down and getting stuck. One of the quickest ways to get unstuck was to try to jam a log under the tracks to provide traction. It's that simple. This is not to say other theories about logs on tanks are untrue. They did provide some added protection, but usually only against smaller caliber anti-tank weapons, such as say the Russian PTRD-41 anti-tank rifle. The Germans didn't rely specifically on logs against these weapons, however. They developed Schürzen, a spaced armored layer to help slow or tumble a projectile before hitting the main armor. Tankers were known to add anything from concrete to additional tank tracks to sandbags to help provide at least some peace of mind. American tankers more commonly tried many methods to up armor their relatively thin armored tanks, believing logs or sandbags might specifically help against heat warheads which do tend to lose significant energy for every small increment of distance between detonation and impact to the main armor. Logs, however, provided only marginal protection. Oh, wow. Disaster. Oh, solid. Some driver, eh? Logs could also help protect against magnetic mines, something the Germans tended to use, like the Panzerknacker shown here, which needs a metal surface to adhere to. Logs could make this somewhat more difficult. The Germans, rather than relying on logs, developed a paste-like coating to put on their tanks called Zimmerit. This was non-magnetic, and it combated magnetic charges. But these types of weapons were very rarely used. Logs may also have some minor camouflage benefit, though typically tanks were covered in branches for the purpose of camouflage in woodland settings. The vast majority of logs were simply used for getting unstuck. Sounds unsophisticated, but this could easily mean the life or death of a tank if no tow was available. Sometimes the simplest method for getting unstuck remains the best. Throughout history, logs were used for this purpose, from World War I to modern times. Logs can still be found on many Russian tanks. All right, I'm Johnny, wishing you smooth driving on paved roads. Thanks for watching this log of a brief. We'll see you next time.